So the, the wealth and the success of the baby boomer generation, if you look at how the US historically has operated as far as which demographics have the most wealth, it was this beautiful sweet spot where the kids went away to college, so your expenses dropped dramatically. And then also around that age, that 50 to 65 year old range, your income typically starting to hit its stride at its highest peak. Incomes go way up, expenses go way low with the kiddos out of the house. And that's what we saw in the baby boomer generation during that 15-ish year period where we saw rates so remarkably low because they were trying to get investments while they still had a high income. Now, COVID accelerated this by the way, but now what we're seeing is baby boomers are retiring. They're taking their money with them out of the working force or with the, out of the workforce and out of the investment world. And they're leaning towards the safer, more stabilized, what they would call traditional investments, right? You're looking at stocks and bonds, even though they're yielding less and well, stocks are doing their thing. But, and now we're seeing when the baby boomers are leaving the workforce, who's replacing them? Generation Z, right? Which is also the smallest generation we've had in recent US history and also the least job participation, the lowest participation in the labor force. So now we see inflation from a wage section or from a wage perspective. The large generation is leaving and a smaller generation is replacing them in the workforce, also with different ideas of how things should be paid out and how much they should make. So I think we're gonna see labor trends really shake up one big aspect of inflation along with a lot of things nearshoring or onshoring as far as manufacturing goes in the US, also inflationary. I think we'll see some disruptive trends as far as manufacturing and shipping and, and imports exports, also inflationary. And then just that huge capital pull, that huge capital draw away from alternative investments that we're seeing the, from the baby boomers. So between those factors, and that's just US factors, between those factors, I think there's a huge, huge, huge push up on inflation for the next decade plus. And you see it going for a decade plus because of just the generational or the, the demographics that are, are occurring right now? Here's an interesting number on the tail end of that. One, I do believe decade plus of inflation, but two, what we're also seeing over the next two decades is the largest transfer of wealth that we've ever seen in U.S. history. For the same for the same reason, for the same story, is the baby boomer generation is retiring, but over the next two decades, sadly, they're also passing away.